Bosch supplied the world's first high-voltage ignition system in 1902 and has long been known for premium quality European ignition parts as well as an offering for Asian and domestic applications. All Bosch ignition components are designed to be identical in fit and performance to the original equipment or OE parts they replace. In this video, you will see how to install and repair a Bosch pencil coil. Bosch highly recommends that ignition coils be professionally replaced. Engines can vary widely by make and model. These instructions should be considered for general guidance only. With gasoline engines, the fuel-air mixture is ignited in the combustion chamber by a high-energy ignition spark, where the required ignition voltage can be up to 30,000 volts. This voltage is generated by the ignition coil from the 12-volt voltage of the onboard power supply. The ignition coil acts like a transformer. It produces the high voltage from two coils, one inside the other, saves this voltage briefly, and then emits it as a high voltage current pulse to the spark plug. Thanks to the flexible sheath, Bosch ignition coils are also suitable for difficult installation conditions. A few symptoms of a bad or worn ignition coil include, but are not limited to, poor radio reception, engine misfire, illuminated check engine light, increased fuel consumption, and loading on other ignition system components, poor starting behavior, especially under cold and or humid weather, lack of power, and drop in RPMs while accelerating. When inspecting the coil, you should check for cracks and or damaged sealing lips between the connector and or plug. Testing an ignition coil is relatively easy. First, use an OBD2 generic scan tool to check for fault codes in the engine module. Bosch recommends Bosch or OTC branded diagnostic tools. Fault codes in the P030X range are misfire related. As an example, a P0301 is a cylinder indication that cylinder one has an issue. Note that a P030X does not automatically mean the coil is the reason for the misfire. Additional diagnosis is required to determine the actual cause. It's critical to ensure you've purchased the genuine OE product. All Bosch ignition coils have the Bosch name molded on the housing and, as referenced earlier, are engineered to the OE specification. Using an incorrect coil may result in an even more costly repair. If there is a short that lowers normal resistance in the primary windings, the engine control module driver circuit may become damaged. This allows excessive current to flow through the coil. This may also reduce the coil's voltage output, resulting in a weak spark, hard starting, hesitation, or misfire under load or when accelerating. The tools you'll need for removing an old ignition coil and installing a new coil include a ratchet, a deep well socket set, a spark plug socket, Torx bit drive socket, needle nose pliers, a flathead screwdriver, and an open-ended wrench. Depending on the application, you may also need a torque wrench. In this video, we'll demonstrate one method of removing the ignition coils. Be sure to consult the manufacturer recommendations for removal before you get started. First, disconnect the battery. Then, remove the oil filler cap on top of the engine cover. Next, remove the engine cover. Place the oil filler cap back on the engine cover to prevent dust and contaminants from getting into the engine. Locate the first ignition coil for the first cylinder. Flip up the release clip on the top of the coil. When the clip is up, you'll notice the cable will push out slightly for easier removal. Note the hole in the center of the ignition coil clip. This is used to remove the ignition coil. You can use your finger or a screwdriver to pull the coil out. Pull straight up on the coil. It will take some force, especially if this is a first-time replacement. A slight twisting motion can also help release the contact between the coil boot and spark plug. Repeat the same steps to remove the rest of the coils. This may be a good opportunity to check the valve cover gasket for leaks and or replace the spark plugs with new Bosch spark plugs. For more information about spark plug installation, please see our video on the Bosch Auto Parts website. Before installing a new ignition coil, check for cracks or damaged sealing lips between the connector and or plug. You should also look for corroded connectors or parting area breakdown on the plug insulator, including any evidence of burning or scorching on the insulator between the plug connector and the plug hexagon. Before starting the installation process, consult the vehicle's service manual for additional installation information. Replace the coils by reversing the removal procedure. Confirm that the connectors for all coils are securely snapped in place. 
Note that on newer designed coils, the coil will not snap onto the spark plug. Instead, you need to press down firmly over the top of the coil to ensure a proper fit. After ensuring that all coils are properly installed, you can now remove the oil cap and replace the engine cover. Install the oil filler cap and inspect the engine to ensure all parts have been installed properly. Reconnect the battery. Turn the key to the on or accessory position. If the check engine light is on, check the scan tool for stored codes and clear the codes accordingly. Start the vehicle to confirm that the misfire is gone. If so, you have successfully replaced the coils on the vehicle. Dispose of ignition coils according to state and local ordinances. To find your local source for high-quality Bosch automotive products, visit our website at boschautoparts.com. For professional assistance with your auto repair needs, contact an independently owned and authorized Bosch Car Service Repair Shop. Visit boschcarservice.us to find one near you.